Amaran. Amaran. Brother. Please go and check who is at the gate. Besides, I have not divorced my wife. That evil woman can never come back here while I'm alive. She's not worthy to be a mother. Mama, I love my wife, Vera. And besides, I can't marry a girl I don't know. It's appalling. She's a virgin. She's one of the best girls in the community. I personally pleaded with her father for her to marry you. My son, you must marry her or else. You cease to be my son. Mama, you know I have not disobeyed you before. And this one I have to leave. Don't repeat what you did the other time. Eh? Sorry. You must marry her. Or else, you cease to be my son. I'm leaving. Blama, stay here. This is your husband's house. If you know what is good for you, you better join her. Stay here. If he beat you, just call me. Yeah. Stay there. I said you better join her. Don't go anywhere. You will soon know who owns this house. Uh, this guy. So I hope you're not doing me a prayer fool. Terry, don't doubt me. I'm a doctor. I know my job. She's pregnant. How? Tell me how. Are you asking me? That should be your question. She's been living in your house and you've been sleeping with her. No, 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 no. I have not slept with her. Trust me, I have not slept with her. And in fact, Julia told me she's a virgin. What? Are you kidding me? You want to tell me you've not slept with that? Bob, Bob, Bob. I don't even know the color of her nipple. I don't even know. Anytime I try to touch her, she tells me to wait till after marriage. That sex is what waited for. Who then is responsible for the pregnancy? If you ask me, who do I ask? I don't know. I should be asking you about whatever you know. Just clear your doubt and ask her. Huh? Nine. Oh. Why? 
You don't get me, you don't understand. Rose, for the past few weeks you've been doing this all, all thing. What is going on? Oh, but I didn't want to disturb you. I, I have to. Favor, you say! Favor! Rose, you are a woman. Don't tell me you have fever. You are pregnant, Rose. Bob is a medical doctor and he confirmed it. You are pregnant. Now, listen to me. I'm not responsible. As far as I'm concerned, you are still a virgin. Yes, I'm a virgin. I don't want to see you in my house again. I, I, I want you out of my house. Go to your mother's house and treat your feet. If you leave, I will. I don't want to eat anymore. Abandon her child for 26 years now? Yes, sir, I am going to do that. Please go heartless. Forgive me, sir. Yes, sir. You are a heartless woman. Yeah. This let me tell you, you are supposed to be arrested. Sit down, yes, sir. Just stop. Hey! Her out. Let it, allow her to sit near her out. Sir, it was just out of frustration, please. Out of frustration? Frustration made you to abandon the child you carry for good nine months. You never cared about her. You never cared whether she lived or whether she is dead. And what, what, what are you doing here? Listen, before I stand up from this place, we are out for my house. My get arrested. You can't come away now, sir. I don't know why she came. Do you know what this girl has to did you know what she passed through all this while? Thank you, madam. Sir, I've been married for eight years now, but no child of mine. A pastor said, I should look for my child and ask for her forgiveness before I can be fruitful. And my husband said, Come back with my daughter so I can have a piece of bread. So, madam, please, I beg you. Please, bring her my daughter's friends. I can have a peaceful marriage. I beg you, please. Uh, yes, I think I know where she is. 
I did what I did because I want you to have a sense of belonging. I want you to see it and believe it that I love you. I didn't want you to start having biased mind, thinking that you are nobody. Um, Vera here is your real mother. What? Yes, I am your mother. I, I, I want you to find it in your heart to forgive me, please. I am so sorry, please. You, my mother. Dad. I'm sorry. You just have to, okay? She's your mother. It's a long story.
Juliet! Hi! Long time we've not seen ourselves. What happened? Hmm. Forgot us so soon. Job my job is taking a lot of my time. I'm sorry. Ah, no stress. And he's frozen. Rose just left yesterday. Her parents came to pick her. You don't need that. So, what's the possibility of seeing her? I uh, just call her cell phone. Ah, uh, uh, Julia, <laughs> you have to come with us. Yeah, Julia, please, please. I beg you, I beg you. If you come with us, it will make things easier. I will pay for this. I'll pay. I'll Whatever. Pay. <laughs> This is looking now, it's in her money. Hi, see how she called fine. It's been a long time. Where have you been? I've been uh, around, you just yeah, you just want to know they find me again. I have a new boyfriend there. Yeah, you still do something. Yeah. But well, I hope you don't take it hard on yourself. Why you know that? I got an offer to take my kid. Rose is pregnant with Terry. I promise not to take you out of this over here. I confirmed it to myself. No. It's okay. Any man in your shoes will do the same. I mean, I didn't I didn't know you loved me that much until you, you came to my house. Well, I never knew I loved you this much until the day you walked out of my life. Will you be my girl now? Oh. Um, I can't say no to you. The truth is. I am pregnant for another man and I can't abort it. Well, I'm not asking you to terminate the pregnancy. I'm not. I'm not. It's dangerous to your health. I know. So what do you want me to do? I'll take full responsibility of the baby. Yes. Listen, I want to keep this child so I can use it to lay allegation on that stupid man that raped me. No, you won't do that. Don't do it, okay? Terry, I want to teach this man a lesson. I am heartbroken, can't you see? This man is a very wicked man. I want to teach him a lesson he will never forget in a hurry. In this nation, we take pregnancy as a stigma, and I don't want you to be stigmatized. Okay? I have a surprise for you. A surprise? Just wait. Close your eyes. Why should you close them? Okay, open your eyes now. You know who you are. <laughs> I don't want to mention your name, girl. You should your name. But you I know the song up, for I you. Know. You never saw this one coming. You know you are 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 co
other person feeling the same way I'm feeling right here in the joint. Oh, my bad. My bad, yo. Yeah. The best girlfriend you never dated. Or the best boyfriend you never dated. Ha, I almost forgot. Oh, uh, Rob Z, Rob Z was on the hook, yo. Oh, sorry, I thought Rob Z was on the hook, and I, and I got fabulous. Fabulous on the, on the, on the so, beat. It's your boy, your boy, me, dad, I fuck you, man. My God, my God, my God. Um, Daddy. Mm-hmm. Daddy, there's something I'd love to discuss with you about. My son, please. You can see I want to relax small before I go to bed. Hmm? Let it wait till tomorrow morning. Well, I just want to tell you that I've decided to settle down. And I found a woman. Hmm. That's good news. Very good. It's good if you have found a wife. Uh, so when are you bringing her home? At least for me to see her first. The question is not when I'm bringing her home. Mm. The thing is, we have to go see her parents tomorrow. Go to see her parents. Why so sudden? Meaning that you have been planning it for long. Oh. I got her pregnant, so so I want to rush things up. Okay. In that case, going to see them tomorrow is out of it for me. I have exams to conduct. I have an appearance to make at the Senate. You can go with Bob. After all, the family knows me. I can go with Paul. Dad is not a meter, so your presence will be highly needed. It is not a meter. It's not a meter. Then who is the person? Rose. I love you. Okay? Everybody loves you. No matter whatever happens. You know, it happened in your head that we have you here. Hmm? Okay, Dad. Okay. Have anybody apologized to you? No. Don't worry. They will come to apologize to you, okay? I just want you to free your mind. Hmm? Have it in mind that we have you here. Please, I see whatever you have to say. Because I would want to tell you to hear as a result of what you said. Yeah, I know. I know. I really do appreciate it. Um, I heard something. I heard that Rose is pregnant for Terry. And I really want to know if it's true.
Kingsley. Yes, ma'am. Go and call us for me. All right. overwhelmed by the love of a mother for her own. I was blinded by jealousy. But it shouldn't be so. Because it was your presence that ushered in Kisley. Kisley came after you, you came into that house. I conceived whereby I was looking for a child before. I should have remembered this. I forgot. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Yeah, we are sorry for the delay. Uh, it was as a result of traffic congestion. It's all right. Um, I'm glad you people are here now. So, can you identify yourselves and tell me why you are here? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much. My name is James Arch. This is my son, uh, Terry, and his friend, Bob. We are here for the immediate family introduction. As you can see, we did not come with any other person. So that's why I said immediate family introduction. My son here says he wants to marry your daughter. Um, excuse me. Let me call her. James. Here is the mother. Ah, what a beauty. What? Miss Dodgy, is this you? Hey, Vera, do you know him? I know him very well. Vera, what are you doing here? What does they say? You can run, but you cannot run out of this place. Rose! 
What are you doing here, scum of the earth? Bro. Devil incarnate. What are you doing here? Hey, hey, Dion. What the hell are you doing in my house? Rose, Rose. This is my father. Yeah, he's your father. But he is the man that raped me. No, I'm you want to scare you? Rape you? When? Where? How? Shh, don't start. Because I know. Don't even. Just before I close my eyes and open it. Get your stinking. Rose, side. Rose, 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 you are talking to my father. Rose, he is your father. And this young man here is your brother. No. What? What? What are you talking about? Listen to me before I close my eyes and open it. Get your stinking self out of my house. That's in it. Yeah, what is the meaning of this? Eh? Why are you people trying to scare your in laws? Get yourself out of my house. Look, I'm you mean this man is the real father of Rose? And you kept it from me all these years? I can't believe this. Mm. Oh, Derek, Derek. Oh, no. no. Derek, no. Derek, I'm not kissing with my brother. No, no. He is your brother. can't be my brother. How? I can't walk. How? How? I'm telling you my brother. <laughs> He's your brother. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Vera, Vera. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon. I called to talk to you how beautiful you are. You are not brilliant in your eyes. You are the best teacher you know. <laughs> Thank you, sir. But I like you a lot. I would like you to be my friend, if you don't mind. <laughs> yes, I will. I know you are shy, but me no harm at all. <laughs> no problem. Then come to my home today and make my lunch. I come alone, please. <laughs> sir. Don't you think we'll be as suspecting us? Me, me coming along to your house to cook. To help that suspicious thing, I'm going to prepare you for a common examination. So I come up with flying colors. I want nobody to share knowledge with you at all. Don't you like it? Yes, sir. I like it. Then will you come alone? Okay, sir. I'll come, but I won't be long. Come by ten. Okay, sir. Don't keep me waiting. Hey. Okay, bye bye, okay, bye, -bye sir. sir. I guess. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Go, stop crying, stop crying. It's okay, it's okay. I'm sorry. I like you. No, it's not playing. It's not playing. I'm lost my virginity. And I promised my mother to give me a new weekend from before. Is that all? Stay longer than this. I'm fine if you insist. Give me a kiss, please. Please, please give me a kiss. Thank mm. you.
Vera. My daughter. What is wrong with you nowadays? Mama, nothing is wrong with me. Just that I feel weak these days. My daughter, please tell me the truth. You are pregnant. Who is responsible? Well, I'm not pregnant. Hey, let me land! Just shut up! You vomited yesterday and today again. You are telling me you are not pregnant. Mama, I'm not pregnant. Hey, I carried you for nine months old. I know when a woman is pregnant. I say who is responsible? Vera. Mama, my teacher. Jesus! Jesus Christ. Your what? Your teacher? Yes, Mama. Have you told him? Yes. And what was his response? He promised to marry me. Hey! I am finished. He promised to marry you. Then what is he waiting for? Or oh, you want all our neighbors to start like, laughing at us? Mama, he says he's preparing himself to come and see us. He's doing what? He's preparing himself to come and see us. Hey, Vera. Vera, let me tell you. Tomorrow morning, you are taking me to your school. Are you hearing me? You are taking me to your school. You are going to your school. And if you know what is good for you, don't leave the house before, before me. If you leave, I will come to your school and see your principal. Continue what you are doing. Let me go and see my man. Go. Don't say it. Hey! What is it that you cannot even allow me to cry even for one minute? What is it? So it has come to this. Huh? You now shout at me. I thought you said you love me. Enough. I said, what is it? Sir, okay. I missed my period. Oh. Aloza concerns me. Huh. What are you asking me? I thought you are more advanced than me. I said I missed my period. I don't know what you're talking about. And how does that concern me? Please. That simply means I'm pregnant. Can you please take this your pregnancy and look for the father of it, please? And stop embarrassing me. You're embarrassing me. You lied. You better come and accept what you've done. Have you forgotten that you are the one that disflowered me? Eh? Now you want to play a cheat on me. You lied. Can you please stop bring him this embarrassment, please? I don't like what you're doing. You're embarrassing me. For God's sake. See, I will not only embarrass you. Eh? I will take it, I will report it to the school authority if you deny me again. Vera, can we just dialogue it? Does it come to that point? Well, I don't have time for your explanation, okay? I'll, I'll report it to the school authority tomorrow. It will be in the principal office. Listen, tomorrow. listen, listen, listen. Come, come, come. Oh, what have I done? Ah, I didn't see you in school today. I hope no problem. There's big problem, oh. There's big problem. One of your teachers, oh, is he the one that pregnanted you? No, he's our principal. One of your teachers impregnated my daughter. What is she talking about? Okay, that tell yes. me. Mr. James Oji, the copper. Hey! Oh. Cop, cop, what did you call? Copper! Copper impregnated you. Eh? You mean you open your leg like this for copper to enter? Madam. And you know that. Eh, let me finish. Let me finish. Madam. Like, like, like principal, like teacher. See, let me tell you. Eh? You open your leg for copper. You know that from one state to another, that's where they go to. They now, say madam, place. listen, that's not the point. The copper in question, Mr. James Oji, has traveled. Hey, I am finished. Oh, I am finished. You see your life? Eh? Madam. Like principal, like teacher. Now, madam, I have a lot to do in the office. You go and sort yourself out with your daughter, okay? You see your life? Can you see what the principal is saying? You see? You yourself, you go and sort yourself too. Let's get to the beginning of this. Papa, Papa, present this one. Papa is God. Papa.
Your bag is waiting for you. <laughs> Why is my bag outside? Why won't you be outside? I sent you to school. I did not ask you to go and get pregnant. Eh? I told you, after three months, everything will show you. Say no. <laughs> eh? You open your bed with wife for everybody to go in. He promised to marry me. Who promised to marry you? <laughs> Carry your bag and get out of my house. Oh, Am I not right? Don't oh, beg me. Oh. Carry your bag. Oh, please. Your bag. Your bag. Get out of my house. When you were switching, you don't know that this is the result. You say we marry you. Don't let me see you in my house here. Where do you I, want me to? Don't come work? back to this house again. Are you hearing me? Just uh, get out. Get out. Go and meet him now. The man that said we marry you. Don't say. Go and see Mama, please. Mama, please. <laughs> 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 Mother threw you out of the house. Yes. It's okay. You can come and stay with me. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you.
don't mind that stupid daughter that doesn't know his job. Don't say that. Eh? The man said it's rich for me to abort the pregnancy. Or do you want me to die? You will not die. Your mouth's done the sharp now. Are you ready to father a bastard? If you want to have this baby, not in my house. Amina, even you. Mm -mm. Are you saying I should leave your house? Because I refuse to abort this pregnancy. Um, yes. Because I will not accommodate you and a bastard whom I don't know his father. Okay. If you want me to leave your house, I will leave. I won't abort this pregnancy and I will take the challenges that come from me. Your business. Be ready to leave my house. me to abort the pregnancy. But Dr. Richie here advised me that it was a sin against God and humanity. So I decided to keep the baby. But when I gave birth, he wasn't in the country. He went for a course. And the hospital authorities started maltreating me. So I had to run away. I ran away. I went back home to ask my mother for forgiveness. But unfortunately, when I got there, I met my mother's corpse. <laughs> they told me that she locked herself inside for two days when she heard that I delivered. There was nothing else I could do. I decided to run far away. This is the pain. I went through wounds from the past. Uh. 
Terry. of how to go about the situation. I hope you've not come here to mock me or to say something very annoying to me. No. I only came here to make you understand that you really need a rethink. Have a rethink of what? Of doing abortion, right? No, I won't do it. I will definitely keep this child to disgrace that man that calls himself my father. I will. Rose, please don't do it. Do you know the shame and stigma to bring to, the, to you yourself and even to the family and your unborn child? Shame and stigma. That's all all of you care in this house. You want me to do an abortion, then kill, kill myself, right? That's what you people want me to do. Hell no, I will not do it. I will so keep this child. I will keep this child. Mr. James, I want to help you. I need you to cooperate with me. I need every bit of truth I can get from you. Tell me, what do you know about Miss Rose Rishi? Rose is one of my best students. I love that girl. I love her for her integrity. You mean you love her? Yes, I love her. But like I said, I love her for her integrity and performance in the class. <laughs> what a smart recovery. Mr. James, your son said that you told him that you are in love with a certain girl and you're scared of her. So she's the one. Yes, I told my son, but Rose is not the one. That one is Bridget again. She is also one of my students. Does she know you raped your student? Your abandoned daughter? Officer, I did not rape Rose. I did not. And moreover, I did not know. I never knew she was my daughter. You never knew. So you raped her? I did not. I just told him. I did not rape her. How do you expect me to believe that, Mr. James? Mr. James, how many girls have you invited to your hotel? She's the only one. And most times I mark my scripts in the hotel because there I concentrate more. But she said you raped her. She said that you were the only one with her in the hotel room. How do you explain that, Mr. James? That is what I cannot explain. Yes, I was the only one with her, but I can't explain that. All the same, I cannot accept what I did not do. I never raped her. Are you sure of what you're saying? Officer, I swear by my wife's grave, I did not rape her. Please help me. Mr. James, I'm asking you for the very last time. Are you sure of what you're saying? I did not trip her. I did not. I will help you. But the minute I find out you're guilty, I will not hesitate to throw you behind the bars. You can call your lawyer to come apply for bill. Meanwhile, you still remain insulted he comes. Is that understood? Hey, what's up, man? Uh, James, I'm not just happy. Man, this lecture today was so crazy. I'm serious. If I had known, I would have just stayed home. It's so boring. Ah, oh, God, I feel like sleeping. 
Jesus Christ. Hello, and I'm Jerry. Inspector Bruce. And I'm Austin. And, and how can we help you, sir? I'm one of the dictators in charge of the previous incident that took place in this camp. Previous incident on this campus? There have been so many, but we know which one. Do you know, Do you know one Mr. James Oji? Yes, he's one of our lecturers. Yeah, I know him too well. He's, um, he's a well-known man in yeah. school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know him too well. Uh, in respect to his disciplinary, uh, he's a well-known man. He's a very nice man and everybody likes him. Everybody loves him? Even you too, you love him? Of course, course, I do love him. Is he a humanizer? Not <laughs> Mr. James. <laughs> not at all. Don't go there. Don't go there. He's not that kind, of, not person. That kind of person at all. And why are these questions? Thanks. Okay. Always me. Please. Well, Amar, I like your meal. Thank you, sir. Please, tomorrow, I want us to go to the village. For what? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to the village. Though. But you're not going alone. We are going together. I want to officially meet your parents. Wow. So kind of you. Um, can you touch me? The weather is cold. I can't touch you tonight. It has to wait until after marriage. I'm so different. Every man wants to touch his wife before marriage. But you're so different. See, everything is not like that. I have experienced it. The other man in the village that asked man in marriage he wanted to sleep with me. But I resisted him. You resisted him? That means you're strong. Anyway, you have to go in and arrange my date tomorrow. See, I'm still with you. I'm so cold and I want you to touch me. They told me that you're a virgin. That you are, you are so romantic. Anyway, you will not sleep in my bed until after my... I'm very sorry. It's okay. Hello. Yeah, when are you coming back? I thought you told me that you have seen her. Are you still staying there? Oh, convince her to follow you and let her know that you are her mother. Okay, please allow her some time. You know it's not easy. Maybe when she decides, she will come back. Please. Okay, bye. Oh God, help me to manage to go to the I never planned to have a polygamous wife. Hey, my children, you are welcome. Thank you, ma'am. So did my son. I can see you are comfortable now. Uh, why all this late? Why did you come back late? Thank you, mama. Just that I have to bring her so that she can stay with you for a while. Why? Is she pregnant? No, mama. The point is that my wife is coming back very soon. And her services is no longer needed. So I have to bring back your motherly gift. I can see there is something wrong with you. Eh? But that's not what you told me. You said she come back to the village to negotiate for the marriage. And I have turned my mind. You can't do this to me. Look, look for another person in the village and marry. Please don't. I forgot to talk to him. I said it. This is not your story. I'm my son. No. <laughs> I said it. Possibly. Don't worry. I'm going to Mama, see don't you. We must marry you. <laughs> don't worry. I'm taking you back to the I don't want to say this to I don't like it. I want to hear from you. Your mother. <laughs> Tony, I said it. This will be my God. Oh. Oh. No, no, no. Let's go inside. You are going back to the Lagos. No, Don't worry. You are going back to the Please, my son, please. I, I, know, I know how you feel. I know you are angry and disappointed. But please, believe me, I did not do it. 
please. <coughs> How do you want me to believe you, Daddy? How? You see, you've brought shame and disgrace to this family. Have I ever lied to you before? No, you have not. Or you never told me that you raped your student. Listen, Teddy, I, I swear, I swear with your mother's grace, I did not do it. Daddy, the more I see you, the more I get angry. Terry. Terry, Terry, what is it? Terry. Even my only son does not want to believe me. Ah. Um, Teddy, just, just take it easy, okay? But please, please talk to your friend. Talk to him. I did not do it. Let him be by my side. He should, he should not abandon me at this stage. I didn't do it. Um, okay, Daddy. Um, I'll, t I'll talk with him. Just don't bother yourself. doing this? Why are you doing this to yourself, man? Listen, you're not helping the situation here. You're only trying to create another. Alcohol is not good to your health and you know that. It is dangerous, man. My mama once told me I can't stand the shame. I can't. <laughs> How do I explain it to my friends? How do I tell them that the girl I introduced to them as my fiancé is my sister? This same girl is pregnant and she's pregnant for my father. Okay, I do. But you see, you have to be a man now. It's only God that can review this situation and can reveal the mystery here. Terry, do you think there now is that your father is just saying he's not the one responsible for the pregnancy and as such he's not going to be DNA test? That is the problem! That is the problem! If that man is refusing to take the DNA test, then he is responsible for the pregnancy. He's responsible for it. Well, that was my conclusion too. Until he said that if you as a son cannot stand by him at a time like this, then he's ready to do anything just to justify himself by taking the DNA test. Listen, Terry, I think you should take side with your father. Yeah, just be like a philosopher that will see green and I'll give it to the black. Yes, I'm just 
I'm Susan. I'm Jane. Okay, um, I'm running an investigation based on incident that happened. Do you know one Miss Rose Rishi? Yeah, Rose Rishi. Yeah. yeah. What can you tell me about her? Rose is a very brilliant girl that everybody would love to make friends with. You know Mr. James? Yeah, that's my nature. A well disciplined one. Are you aware that Rose was dating Mr. James? No, ma'am. But we heard what happened, and it's surprising. Do you think that Mr. James can do such? Yes, officer. Because that thing that took them to that hotel can also make it happen. Because they don't keep him and go together. From what you know about Mr. James, do you believe that he can actually do something like that? Well, no one predicts the mind of a chick in the egg, so I can't speak his mind. Has he ever invited any of you girls to his hotel room before? Yes, but I turned him down. How many times? About three times. Can you imagine? He, let me, he made me fail his cause just because I refused to come and visit him. Really? Okay. Thank you, girls. Thank you so much. Um. Do you know one Miss Bridget Ekin? Bridget Ekin? Yes, yeah. Bridget Ekin. Yeah. Okay, do you know her whereabouts? No. Not at all. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, girls, for your cooperation. And I want you girls to always have in mind that the police is your friend, okay? Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Detective Omar. I'm Bridget. Okay, nice to meet you. Bridget, I'm running an investigation based on an incident that happened. I believe you know one Mr. James Oji. Yes, yeah, it's my lecturer. How much can you tell me about him? Um, well, um, he's a strict type, but only smiles at bros and those that perform well in his class. Really? What about you? Does he smile at you? Yeah, not frequently, but once in a while. Do you believe what happened? There's no evidence to discard the proof we have at hand right now. But I pray if this is a joke, let it quickly manifest the truth. Miss Bridget. Yeah. Assuming Mr. James invites you to his hotel room to help him mark his script, can you go? This is very difficult to answer. Assuming it never happened. I wouldn't because Filmmakers have given lecturers a very bad impression and reputation. So for that, I'll, I'll be cautious. Do you see him as a rapist? No. But I suspected a foul play. The other day, he invited me to his office to come mark a script for him. But I don't trust men. Thank you very much, Miss Bridget. Thank you for your cooperation. And I always want you to remember, the police is your friend. Majority of the fruit believes he's not our man. Why others are sad, there's always the first time. Well, that's human nature. Have you interrogated the girl? Not yet, sir. I will do that soon. Inspector Bruce. 
tell me, why is he unwilling to undergo the DNA test? What is wrong with him? Sir, he made it clear that his wealth is his own, that he doesn't need DNA to prove his innocence. Innocence. Now, what do we do? The whole thing is getting complicated. What do we do? We need some level of reasonable force on him. Sir, your game is as good as me. He seems nice, but humans are susceptible to change. Yes, I agree no less. Humans are susceptible to change. But what's our next line of action? I will sleep over his You know what one has to do a torture so as not to drag the name of the force to the moon. Yes, you're right. I agree with you. Um, okay, you need to go ahead. I'll give you all the support you need to do a thorough job so that we can come out with a better investigation and a better job that the society will agree with. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Mr. Chuck, yeah, James, how's Hello, everything? Fine. Hey, uh, let's enter. No, 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 it's I'm okay, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm here to deliver a letter from the Senate. Oh, I, I thought we. No, 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 no. I'm going to hear it. Suspension. Why? Let's say you should be on suspension. The police are doing their investigation. Why are they? Now I did not do it. Why can't they believe me? Nobody will believe you. Even me will not believe you. So you have come to my house to insult me. No, I'm not insulting you. I'm going to send that guy. Now get out. I said get out. secret behind that, irrespective of your daughter's mere calamity. Tell me about it. Darling, the Lord has finally wiped away my tears. I have a testimony. <laughs> that man of God your friend introduced you to. <laughs> Darling, the man of God is really working with the Spirit of God. Praise God. God is really using that young man to do that. So what happened? What is the smile all about? You see, when I came back today, I was feeling somehow. So I decided to go for a checkup. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Mm -hmm. The doctor told me that I am too much pregnant. Praise God. Are you sure? Oh I my God. I think I have to hear you. Oh, no, 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 it's late. Why don't you do it tomorrow? Let me just call oh, him. No. Oh, with the excitement, let me uh, call no, him. No, no, late, the doctor and ask him. Mm -hmm. I want to hear him myself. Tomorrow you can call me. Okay. Oh, Daddy. I'm going to All right. Good afternoon, Mr. James. Okay. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, Mr. James. Any new development? I'm sorry, Mr. James. From my investigation today, it doubts my confidence in you over the case. I'm afraid you'll have to come with me to the station to prove your innocence. Mm. Detective, my father is not going with you. He's not going nowhere. I hope you're not trying to stop me or else. Or else what? I will charge you for obstruction of justice by not allowing a police officer to do her work. Okay, Mr. James, how are you? It's okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll go. I'll come. I know very soon how this will be over, okay? Thank you very much for your cooperation. 
change your perspective about the police. Because the police is your friend. This way, sir. The police is your friend. Let me warn you, eh? Shut Don't up. come up to my house and do that. Shut up. 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 Shut Shut up. 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 Listen to me, because I know you are just nothing but a messenger. I want you to take this message to Rose. Listen, the next time, the next time I see her close to my man, not even oh, this no close, man. I see I will this close to my man, she will not like what I'm going to do to her. Yes, my man. Do you have wait, a man? Of wait, course you don't. Wait, speak to your man. man eh? Get out. Let's get out of here. Stupid thing. Come on, stand there. What are you talking to? It's yours. Just take the message to her. Yeah. Nonsense. With your fake river. Come by Brazilian. <laughs> Have I done to you that you hate me this much? What? Do I look like your mother? You barrel witch. Mama, I have told you countless times to stop calling my wife a witch. Besides, she's not barren. She's two months pregnant. Eh? Pregnant? Belama? For what? Go back to the village. I'll see your parents when I come back. I'm not going back to any village. So Toye, want to marry you, eh? <laughs> it's your son I want, Mama. So Toye is a village boy. I love your Talk son. You. Shut up! What do you know about love? Mama, I'm not going anywhere. Well. I will see you when I come back. Mama, this was not the plan, though. This was not the plan. I said go back to the village. My daughter. I'm sorry. <laughs> I say go back to the village. Take money. I'm very sorry. One for China.
how he knew. When he comes back, tell him that I'm done interrogating the workers on duty for today, and I'll be back tomorrow to interview the workers on duty for tomorrow, okay? Yes. Thank you. The detective? I can go by that. Look, what do you want from me? I need every bit of information I can get from you. I've told you before that I know nothing about this matter. So just leave me alone. Miss Bridget, it seems you don't realize how crucial this case is. The district commander is involved in this case. Even the commissioner of police himself is interested in this case. So please, I need every bit of information I can get from you. I'm sure you know I'm not the only person who has any affinity to do with this matter. Well, you're the only girl that is surrounded by this matter. You have something to do with Mr. James, don't you? No. Do you know he's interested in you? How am I supposed to know that? Thank you very much. So, anytime I need you, I'll come around for more questions. Thank you. And always remember that the police is your friend. Just let me just go in and just talk to him. I need to relax. He's not in a good mood okay? I don't want the guys to fight. Um, you know what? Just take it easy. I'll, I'll talk with him, okay? Everything will be fine. Just 
what, what did I do? I, 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 I called him. I explained everything to him. I'm sorry for what I did. I even, I even called his dad and I explained everything. I'm, I'm very sorry. How will he say he doesn't want to see me because of something that I did? I didn't do it intentionally. At least I know, okay, but I can't help it. Okay, I'll just come down. I'll just begin with you. No, let me just, let me just see him. Just, just go out talk with him, okay? I promise, I'll give you my word. I'll talk with him, and everything will be fine, okay? Good day, sir. Good day. Have a seat. Thank you, sir. My name is Tedida. I'm standing in for Teddy Homer. In this case, Homer. I'm so scared. Oh, she's getting better. Can you remember really what transpired in the house the day she left you? Talk to us, has told you everything. Yes. But I need to cross examine you in order to ascertain facts. I thought you wanted to help. Okay. Let's get over with it. I asked her what she took before she went out. It seems like yesterday. When she was about going out, she asked him to give her a glass of water. And I did. And that was the same cup I used in taking my drugs. She drank from it? Yes, she did. Immediately I finished drinking mine. She, she poured water into the same cup and drank from it. Yes. Okay, it's established. Can this help with the investigation? Yes, sure will. One last question. Does Rose have a boyfriend? <laughs> yes, she does. She does have a boyfriend. I need his name. Address. His name is Clement. His address. Hmm? That's number 22. Mordecai Street. 22 Mordecai Street. Are you ready to confess now? Did you rape her? Rose was my date. Each time I want to sleep with her, she normally tells me sex is after marriage. So after when I saw her enter the hotel to meet an old man, 
Who might think she's cheating on me with? I opened the door and I saw her in the room. Then I raped her. on the song, cause I want more, the best girl, the best friend I never I dated, don't I don't wanna really mention your name, I'm me, give me a break, that's what you always say, yeah. you know me smile, but tell me shorty, do you really care, yeah, really I come, care. you never want me tell her how I feel about <laughs> you, I remember his nostalgia took me way back, you like to tell your dicks and a lot in them brand sugar, brand and now sugar. you see me like a crazy mad love intruder, and now you body think we got some on the cover, kids in love back in the tub, <laughs> we never bother, <laughs> And then my peeps like that, and you ain't here in yet. I just laugh, I want you laugh, cause you were the best. I may not be what you want now financially, but I'm getting it worked out, boo. Cause you inspire me, I wanna know a different part of you. The fact that we may never happen to us, yo. This is how I feel, boo. Back from being best friends.